Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve, editing, and fusion effects. While editing, I keep running into a lot of the same issues and I'm always looking for ways to optimize and improve my process. I've created a new timeline tool script that helps out with a lot of these issues and makes them a lot easier for me and um, it might be something you want to try as well. So for the uh, timeline tools, I'd love to get your feedback so when you get a chance to try them out, um, let me know what you think and let me, let me know how they work for you. Now this script is new, I just got it completed, so if there are any issues, um, please let me know and I'll try to get them fixed up as quickly as possible. You can download it from my website, buildjustice.com. I've also created a new experimental tool. I'm hoping to make a video about it a little bit later this week and um, you can download and try that out as well when it's ready. Okay, so what can you do with the timeline tools? Um, there's really two things right now um, until I add more. The first is some alignment. So a lot of times when, you're, when you have a lot of clips, um, whether it's text, graphics, images, and you want to align them over to the left, over to the right, um, vertically, horizontally, and, evenly, even, and also evenly space them out. Um, it can be kind of tedious to get everything spaced out exactly. So the new tool allows you to, with just a click of a button, align things, move things around, and get them lined up exactly like you want. The second thing this tool does, which I think I'm gonna really use a lot, is it helps out with text and being able to change fonts, styles, and sizes throughout all the text you have in your timeline. So a lot of times I'll have a timeline with text all over the place, and I maybe find a font, or maybe I want something a little bit bigger or smaller, it kind of takes a lot of work to go through and make all those adjustments. With the new Text Plus Timeline tool, with just a click of a button, you can change all of those um, in one shot, and you can also create different styles, in essence, and have like a, a, like a main title and a subtitle and change those independently and change them across the entire timeline. It's really handy. All right, let's take a look at how to use the Timeline tools. I'm gonna to show you how to download and install it, and we're gonna go through some examples of what you can do with it. Let's take a look at the timeline tools alignment options. What I'm gonna do is um, I just have a blank timeline here with a kind of a gradient background. I'm gonna add a bunch of text clips and then I'm gonna show you how you can use the tools to move the clips around and align them. So we'll go to the titles area and these work with text plus the best. We're gonna take the text plus and drag it in. I'm gonna add a bunch more clips in here. Okay, so we, we added all the clips in and now let's just kind of move them around and space them out. So because they all default to the center. So I'm gonna take the top one and just kind of move it up. We're gonna use these settings. We're just gonna move these around, kind of space them out a little bit here. Move this one down and the last line, last one all the way to the bottom. Okay, so obviously if you wanted to change the font, we have to go into each one of these, adjust the, the font, the size, and some of the other options. It takes a little bit of time to do that. After this, I'm gonna show you how to do that with just one simple click. Okay, for now, um, say we wanted to move these around and arrange them. If we want to position this guy over here, we're gonna have to go and move all of these other options to be in line with that. With the script I have, it's really easy to do. So you're gonna, once it's installed, you go to Workspace, Scripts, and you're gonna choose WJ Timeline. And you get this little pop-up here, and these have this has all the alignment tools and the text plus tools. So the way this works is it takes everything that's underneath the playhead and from the middle of the top clip and uses that as a reference point to align everything. So what you need to do is if you don't want anything aligned, you have to disable it. So I'm gonna hit the gradient on the bottom and hit D to disable it. Now to use the alignment, all you have to do is say if we want to align things to the left, we click left. And it aligns it to the left of the top one. We could align to the center by clicking center or align to the right. If you wanted to move it over, we just take the top clip and we'll just slide it over right over here and we'll click align to the right and that's gonna move everything over. Now this, this works for images as well, but you don't have the left and right alignment. It's just gonna always align to the center, but you can, you can do this, all of this works with images, graphics, um, and everything. But what it's doing for the text plus, you'll notice if we come in here to the text area, and say we want to align it to the left, you'll notice that the horizontal anchor, the H anchor, is aligned to the right. When you align it to the left, it actually moves that so that everything is aligned with the left edge of the text. So we can take this and go to setting, uh, take this, go to settings, and we'll slide it over and we'll do the left alignment again. Once you have everything aligned the way you want it, you can turn the bottom clips on, the gradient, or whatever things you have in here. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do a couple other things to show you how this works with images as well. But let's use the Resolve logo. So we're gonna drag this in here and space it up. We're gonna put the, uh, let's put the playhead over that so we can see it. We're gonna shrink it down and we're just gonna make some more copies of this guy right there. And we're gonna move them around a little bit. We'll do that one over here, space that one out, and the last one, we'll, we'll move this one over here. And we'll adjust the vertical position as well. Okay, so now that we have, we have the alignment tool up, so what we can do is if we wanted to align them, say, horizontally in the center, we'd click that. Okay, it looks like I just had a crash. Um, 
it uh, the alignment tools apparently don't work very well when um, with this background node. So make sure that you um, are gradient. Make sure you disable that. That it works a lot better. Okay, so we have our, our logos on there, and for example, if we wanted to align them to the center, we hit center, and it's going to align to the center of the very first the very first logo that it finds. So the top track. So we can move this one over and hit center again, and it's going to align them. If you want to undo, you can just hit Control Z for each one, and that will undo and get you, back, get you back to where you were. We can also align vertically, and it's going to center them along this first one. So we're going to hit center, and you'll see they're all aligned vertically. And then we can hit the horizontal to distribute them evenly. And we got the even horizontal distribution. Now, you may want to move this, so we'll take the, the one on the left and move that in. And then we'll hit the distribute again, and they're all spaced out evenly. So that's just showing you how this works with images as well as text. And the, in the align horizontal, the left, right, and center, they all kind of do the same thing because there's no left, right, center point of just, an, just a graphic. Okay, let's take a look at the next one, and I'm going to show you how you can update your text really easy and get a lot more control here. Okay, let's take the top line, and when, when you're doing the tools, it always looks at the top clip and copies those down to everything that's underneath it. So we're going to change the top line there, and this is the line that's in the top track. Let's change the font and some of the other settings. We can adjust the tracking a little bit, maybe make it a little bit smaller, and change the color. Let's make it a kind of a, a orange color right there. All right, so we've done that. This is where we can use some of the Text Plus tools. So in the Timeline Tools area, click Text Plus, and you'll see all. This means it's going to apply to all of the clips. We can either copy it, um, everything at the playhead, or let me move this over here or we can do all of the clips. So I'm just gonna do a couple right here. So you see that we got two of the text plus clips copied. This is the first one. So to change our text, all we have to do is do copy at playhead and it changed all of the text for everything underneath the playhead to the top line. So if we wanted to change the color, let's make it a green, reduce the, bring the tracking in and maybe make it a bit bigger. We just have to do copy at playhead and there we go. And the same tools apply, so if we wanted to do the alignment, we could take the bottom clip and let's say move it down a little bit and then do the vertical distribution and it's gonna get everything lined up for us. Now you notice that when we in this text plus thing, we click this tab here, that was using copy at playhead. Copy all is going to do it for everything. So if we come over here, you'll see that these two did not change. So if we wanted everything in the entire um, timeline to change, let's ad adjust our first text plus. We'll make it uh, kind of a red bring the size down and let's change the font one more time. Okay, and we're gonna do, we'll see right here, we got, this is the original text, this is the new text, and we're gonna do copy all. And there we go. So this is gonna change all of the text in the entire timeline really, really quick and conveniently. Now, one of the things I added in here was a lot of times I have different kinds of text and I wanted to be able to change some of the text, maybe like a, a title style and maybe there's a, a, sub, a subtext, things like that. So I added this ability to choose which text this applies to. And I'm using the clip colors to do this. So what we're going to do is set up some clip colors to show you how this works. Let's, uh, we're going to delete out a couple of these and we're going to make a title and then like maybe a subline. You could use this for anything you want, kind of creating style. So we're going to take the top one and we're going to set that to um, clip color. Let's set it to orange. And the bottom one, we're going to set the clip color to, let's say lime. And we'll do that for these two. Clip color orange and clip color lime. So we'll have a uh, title one, just kind of adjust the text here. What we're gonna do is I'm, I kind of have a style set up here with a, a title, which is the orange and then subtext. So let me uh, make some adjustments here, make that yellow. And then the bottom one, I'm gonna change the font on it and bring it down, adjust the tracking. Um, and then let's see, I'll kind of move it up a little bit. And I can still use the alignment tools to let's say align those to the right and that's gonna do this set here. So let's go back to this original set. So this is what we had originally, and this is the new style that we wanna change things to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, choose the orange, it's gonna take the, or the first orange clip underneath the playhead, and we're gonna say copy all. And that copied this style from the orange one to all of the orange text plus clips in our timeline. And you see we have this style right there. And the second thing we can do is right here with the, the lime one, we can go to lime, and do copy all, and it's gonna take the lime style and apply it to all of the lime things. Now this doesn't adjust the spacing and things like that. I may add something in the future uh, where we can do that. You can also use the alignment tools in here and uh, you know bring this up, align them to the right, left, or center. 
So that's the basics of it. It kind of allows you, allows you to create some styles. There's a lot of times where I'm sending a video and I really wish that I would have changed the, uh, the text style or done something a little bit differently. Um, but it is a big hassle to go through your entire timeline and change all those. So this hopefully makes it a lot easier for you. I haven't fully tested this, but the uh, text copy options do seem to work with a lot of the built-in title styles with Resolve. You can see I have uh, three titles set up here. Um, on the timeline, these are just some clips. And let's say we want to change the font. We'll just pick in a random color here and make it a little bit smaller like that. So we got the other ones that are bigger. We want that to change everywhere. We just hit copy all and the title styles are updated. Now this is not, this is only going to work for the text part. Um, it won't copy all of the other options. Um, and also there may be some of these title styles, especially the ones that have multiple um, text lines. It probably won't work as well with those, um, but you can give it a try and see how it does. And there is also a uh, about uh, donate tab here. So if you do find this useful and you're, you want to donate a little bit, um, I definitely appreciate it. Not required at all. Um, just uh, hope you do something good with it and it helps make your editing a little bit easier. Okay, to download and install the timeline tools, go to my website, buildjustice.com and click timeline tools. There's an information page here. I probably add a little bit more here. It's, this is the folder where you're going to install it for Mac and the folder where you're going to install it on Windows. You just need to copy the script file to this directory. Um, this one has the username you want to place. You want to replace the username with your, your username for the account that you're using. And you just copy, you download the script. It is a .lua file, which has some script code, and you just move it into that folder. I, anytime you need to use it, you go to wor the workspace menu and resolve, scripts, and then choose WJ timeline. So you can see here, this is in um, the build justice, app data, roaming, black, uh, black magic, DaVinci resolve, support fusion, scripts, edit. So this is the folder path. And this is the .lua file, wj-timeline. Um, once you download it, just move it right here and you're ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or even some ideas that maybe you think we could do, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Also, make sure to check out my next video, um, probably hopefully later this week, with the new experimental tool. I would like some feedback on that as well. Thanks so much for watching.